Hello, everyone, and welcome. I am Abigail, the ultimate guru. With me is my co-host, the world's only comedian, Bryden Proctor. Hello. And our special guest is the Radiant King, Roscoe Jones. Hello, Roscoe. Good evening, friends. How is everybody? Doing good. You don't have to worry about a thing because we are here to help. If you'd like to submit a Dear Abby question, you can DM me on Twitter at OctoAbby. That's with an I, not a Y. Bryden is one and only Bryden with the number one. Like a finger. Like a finger. <laughs> uh, we will. I'm just going to do an ad for our Patreon real quick and then we'll get started. By the way, if one hour a week is just not enough of our incredible show for you, go to patreon.com slash here to help podcast. For only $1, you can get at least three bonus episodes a month released on Mondays. Sign up for the Patreon, give us your money, and tell all your friends to give us theirs too. You'll never find a better deal than this. And Roscoe is going to stay potentially for the Patreon episode too. So you can hear more of him. And then also the Discord, you got to tell him about. Oh, yeah, in the Discord, you can just DM me on Twitter at OctoAbby with an I, and I will invite you to the Discord. Just zero fucking enthusiasm for that there. You're like, oh, yeah, and well, also, by just... the way, this uh, community that we've cultivated is pretty cool people. Yeah, who, who fucking cares? Listen, that is why I'm in charge of the Discord. <sighs> You're not in charge of the Discord. I'm the admin. What do you mean? I made it. Yeah, dude, why don't we fucking admin these nuts in your fucking face? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Bitch. Boom. Ba -ba 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 banger. Banger. He's on fire. Idiot. Okay, that's enough. I think you're getting a little ahead of yourself here. I think here. you're getting a little fucking given a little head uh, to homeless people. Brian, shut <laughs> up. That was bad. You did a bad job. You did a bad job of fucking hyping the Discord. How is Roscoe ever going to join the fucking Discord then? If you're know. just like, ooh, Roscoe. by the way. If, I, if you join the Discord, I'll make you a mod and give you the tag Elite. Yeah, we, oh. got, we got fucking so, we got celebrities him. in there. Like, think about it. <laughs> Roscoe Jones, OJ Simpson. Like, big names. <laughs> we have OJ Simpson in the Discord. Did I miss that? Is that who Powder Keg has been all along? Yeah, we got OJ Simpson in the fucking Discord. What do you think? I mean, listen, he's, he's experienced with killing white women, so... Um, him and Is I that why been, you invited him? Yeah, him and I have been talking for a while. He's coming after me. Brighton yeah. already said once last week, I think yeah. it was, that his goal is to make me kill myself. Yeah, so. well, completely. I don't know why this is working. Uh, what? Oh, no, I'm getting... He's Don't send chat messages during the show, Roscoe. I can, it makes a noise. He sent, me this, he sent me this drop, and he's like, try this drop the next time you want to call Abby a bitch. So I'm going to play But it. I can't hear the drops. <laughs> you just gave him away, bitch. too. He hasn't wow. dumb come bitch. out of I I am a dumb or anything yet. You just took away his uh, his uh, moment, whatever. What is the word I'm looking for? Element of surprise. Well, I keep forgetting to use that drop on our show after somebody made it for me. I mean, it's pretty good. From what I could tell, I mean, I just played it while she was talking for a little bit. So, I mean, no, no harm, no foul, nothing they can't lost. Hear me if you do that. Yeah, I know. And they're like, "Man, this show's great." Just two fellas hanging out. Two <laughs> good radio fellas hanging out. Someone a, tweeted, "Oh, go ahead, Raska." It's a very morning zoo drop. It takes like half a dozen or more. Like it starts with Walter White. You dumb okay. bitch. You stupid bitch. Then Roger from American Dad. Oh, you stupid, stupid bitch. <laughs> then some explosions and sirens. And I told told my, uh, it's our music producer. I asked him if he could, uh, it needs to be long enough to be obviously obnoxious. Yeah, also, yeah. by the way, speaking of stupid fucking bitch, you stupid bitch. Oh. <laughs> why did you not? Why did you not? You were like, oh, yeah, he's uh, the Radiant King. All that weird shit that he puts uh, for himself on Twitter what? all the time like a psycho. Okay. But instead, I didn't talk about his podcast. You didn't say from Exodus Americanus. I'm sorry. Okay. I did a bad job. I oh, thought maybe he, he could tell us all you, about him. Tell us about no, yourself, no, no, Roscoe. No, no, tell no, us about no. Exodus Americanus. What? Shut it's, up, it's, Bryden. It's not an interview show, bitch. Oh, they know who he is. And also, the you know what? Happy. You know what's really bad? You know what's really bad? What? She writes this shit down first. I didn't put it in the script, okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. You're bad at the script. You're bad at the script. I'm well, not the bad at the script. That I have, uh, so a lot of times, uh, 
when, when you're dating in the year of our Lord, 2022, women like to Google you. Yeah, I had one guy, oh, yeah. Erica Googled me the other day and it was like fucking, it, it was particularly good because like there's this thing that she'll do where she cupping the balls and like I fucking love getting Googled. <laughs> That's so, disgusting. But, when you Google me, the first thing that uh, comes up is a God, uh, article. Oh. <laughs> and, you know, my official answer to everybody, whenever a uh, girl or somebody would ask me uh, what Exos Americanus was, I'd always say, well, it's a houseboat where I could fuck your sister. That's, that's fucking, that's accurate. You could ask my sister, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I was... I don't know if you know this or not, but I got one of our logos, like a huge tattoo of it on my rib cage. Oh, did you finally do that? I was wondering when you were getting a goddamn XO tattoo. Really? Oh, it's so cool. Dude, yeah, after the show, send me a fucking picture that rules. But um, I was like laid on my side with my back to the door and these girls came into the uh, tattoo parlor and they definitely sounded like those kind of girls. Black. Like, good. No, they were, they were definitely <clears throat> Southern Indiana kind of girls. And one of them asked me uh, what my tattoo was. And I'm laying there like, tattoo on the ribs sucks. It sucks even more when you're skinny as a rail. Yeah. Through gritted teeth as my soul was trying to escape my body, I said, it's a houseboat where I fuck your sister. <laughs> <laughs> and she thought it was so funny. She asked my tattoo artist, can I get him a beer? And he's like, you have beer? Like, yeah, I <laughs> So I'm, I'm laying on the table, like awkwardly pouring beers into my mouth for the rest of the time that I'm getting the tattoo. Damn, that rules. It's like five hours. Bro, that fucking rules. You got to show me that tattoo. I know. I mean, years ago you were talking about it. And then like, I was wondering what would happen because you deserve to, to fucking get it. I'm thinking of doing like a riffraff type of thing, you know, where I just uh, go ahead and tattoo the logo on me of every podcast that I've been on. And it will be a sleeve because there's... <laughs> No. Every fucking podcast that I've done, it's like, you know, there's some of them that ran for eight episodes. That's the worst idea I've ever heard in my life, I think. I mean, at least the rib cage is easy to cover up. Nobody can see your shame. Oh, you should get a tattoo on your face. That way you have an excuse to cover it up. I've got the swastika on the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's the only one I've got. No, right no, there. no, you don't get it. I'm actually just a big Charles Manson fanatic. It's not... <laughs> I just liked his music. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's sometimes I like to look in the mirror and make the crazy faces like that one video. It's just fun. It's just a good time. He's he's a he's a fun loving guy. <laughs> just just a regular old cut up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I literally do have a Charles Manson tattoo though, right? Do you? What yeah. is it? Well, it's uh, some guy. I didn't know at the time uh, anything about Charles Manson, but uh, it was Friday the 13th, and they have just like a profile thing. Or not a profile, but just a uh, – I'll send you a picture of it. But uh, it's it's Charles Manson. Instead of a swastika, it has 13 on it because it's Friday the 13th. Mm -hmm. That's – you know, you pick one from the Flash uh, card or whatever they're called. But, uh, yeah, I got Charles Manson. Um, it's a hilarious tattoo. Like it's very funny. Uh, but apparently not anybody, I forget the name of the tattoo place. Uh, it was over in Silver Lake, but, uh, apparently I, I was one of two people that got that. One time I was at the, uh, whatever this wine bar was, but, uh, I saw some gal that had the same thing. I was like, ah, oh, same tattoo. And we were like, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> That's fun. yeah, and, uh, she was like, only two people got this. I'm like, oh, I know. Because, uh, yeah, it's like a, a, a homicidal racist. Uh, I, I didn't know the details of the case at the time, but... Uh, of course not. You, you were totally innocent. Well, I didn't, I swear. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't. <laughs> okay. I was also... There might be a skit where, uh, there, you know, two guys are uh, talking in the car. Like, I just think it's important to separate, you know, the artist from their work. It's like, but him. Well, yeah, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Like so, so you like Adolf Hitler's paintings? What? He was a painter. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. But before we get into relationship stuff, do you all want to hear a new racist joke that I heard today? Uh, <laughs> we are on YouTube, so probably not. I can say I'm saying any racial slurs. So, um, okay. Okay. All right. That's fine. Is it? Are we after five? Yeah, we're after five minutes. Okay. So teacher gets into her uh, second grade class one day and they're having a spelling bee but it's a very special sort of themed spelling bee 
you have to spell what your dad does for a living. So first one they call up is Jim. Jim, what does your dad do? He's a fireman. Okay, Jim, can you spell fireman? F-I-R-E-N-A-N. Very good. Very good. Next girl, Jenny, what does your dad do? He's a lawyer. Can you spell lawyer? L-A-W-Y-E-R. And then Ladarius. Ladarius, <laughs> what's your dad do? He's an ele 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 electrician. Ele electrician. Can you spell that, Ladarius? E L C T. She said, it it's okay, Ladarius. We can come back to you. Okay, Janet, what does your dad do? My dad's a bookie, B O O K I E. And if you were here, he'd give you 10 to 1 odds that Ladarius isn't going to be able to spell electrician. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's pretty good. <laughs> I love street jokes, dude. I fucking love street jokes. They're like nobody writes those fucking things. I mean, I I call them popsicle stick jokes. I've written a few of those, but street jokes are fucking nobody writes those. That shit. They rules. should. Well, I then you do it. Like, how do you do that? That's just like I, I was talking to my. Uh, he's a comedian. Um, I was talking to him the other day, and we were just kind of laughing and ripping and uh, uh, just uh, thinking in depth about like who was the first guy that was just standing there with somebody and w looked at the other dude and goes hot enough for you like that. <laughs> I mean, like that must have fucking killed. So a few weeks ago uh, on our uh, special uh, subscriber show over at gumroad.com slash boat hog 420, the weird news roundup. We did all news stories related to how damn hot it was. And the only trans, we only used one segue from my story to story that night. And it was, man, it's hot out there. How hot is it? Well, it's so hot that. <laughs> That's <laughs> adorable. <laughs> I love it. I was on uh, the Weird News Roundup uh, a couple weeks ago, actually. It was a fun time. Me and, uh, me and old Roscoe uh, uh, talked about wrestling for about 25 minutes at the beginning, which I think people hated. And then, uh, and then it was about food, which, God, I'm fat and gay. <laughs> yes. Hey, You're very fat and very gay. Uh, it's, I don't know if they allow com uh, like uh, comments on the, on the gum road at all, but uh, it couldn't have been good. Those people don't like me very much. Uh, Come on. Until, <laughs> until I'm at ExoFest and all of a sudden everybody's up my butt going, what a funny guy Bryden is. Then they're like, I don't like how he made that girl cry. <laughs> you know, day one. Did you make a girl cry? No, just just walrus. So just yeah, all... yeah, yeah. So yeah, I did make a girl cry. Um, but uh, to be fair, I'll never be able to live down. He 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 grabbed me with between his index and and ring, and um, middle finger one time by the nose and left a bruise that was there for like five days. This was oh, like wow. five years ago, and I'm still hearing about well, it. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it was pretty bad. That's is all that Walrus the... and I have, uh, 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 like, about each other is, like, you can't put us in this, we should start a podcast. I, on the Exos Car Americanist Network. I might, right. I might be starting a new podcast over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. Okay, can we let's do the day? We're 12, 13 minutes, 14 minutes in. We should do the damn show. Um, okay, I put a poll up. Another here to help poll. I'll think of a poll every week. Maybe I think it's a good say. I think you spend a lot of time thinking about poll. Okay, no stop. Because you're a terrible whore stripper. <clears throat> I've never been a stripper in my life. Also, so poll could be penis. Okay. Yes. Okay. Anyway. That's what I thought you meant the first time. Okay. No. So no. Do See you, you. So wait, you're saying that you immediately, when I said poll, thought of penis. That's because you constantly talk about it. You constantly, every single week, you won't shut up about penis. 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 <laughs> I'm never get to live So what was what was your uh, what was your Twitter penis about today? Okay. <laughs> Do you steal when you use self-checkouts? 76.4% of people said never, but I don't believe them. I don't do that. I thought that was a weird... I remember seeing that one now. Yeah, I, um, well, I don't do I that.
I just hear about it a lot. People are like, yeah, I just slip a small thing in the bag and don't scan it. And I've only ever done it once on accident. I just didn't realize that I'd put a birthday card inside another thing. Yeah. When I threw it in the basket. Yeah, I could see that. I thought the best response to that was, no, I'm white. Uh, yeah. Like, I... I don't know. I mean, I see, like, I hear comedians talk about it all the time. Like, uh, I, if I remember correctly, like Matt McCusker is like a big fan of just fucking stealing with from the self checkout. I get it. I and I'm sure Louis J. Gomez fucking does that shit all the goddamn time. Um, he'll he talks about shoplifting constantly. He's just like, oh, the line was too long, so he'll just walk out with a copy of the Seven Eleven. Uh, insane shit. It Maybe it's just podcasters that do it. Maybe that's the only reason I've heard about it so much, because everyone who does a podcast that I've listened to talks about it at some point. I don't do that. Last summer, I was uh, I was over at the Home Depot picking up a, a big load of lumber. I was helping uh, rebuild a uh, deck, and I got to the, uh, the contractor checkout line and awaited. Went and walked over to a line. Like, there was no one there. So I went to the service desk and be like, hey, I'm trying to check out. I got a big load of lumber. Yeah, I've got to you know, do the contractor sign signing thing for for the lumber. All right, we'll have somebody write down for a run right down. So I go back, wait a little bit longer. And finally, I just said to hell with this and pushed it out to my car. Home Depot seems like a fucking easy place to steal from. About twelve hundred dollars worth of lumber. That I mean, that kind of rules. Like if I feel like like if I didn't live in Florida, which is like you know we're supposed to be the good state or whatever. Like if I was in fucking, if I was still in California, I literally would just stop paying for shit. Like I would just steal, you know, in my twenties. I don't think I could. I always get stopped at the door. Always. No, they no, always stop me. At you the can door. just keep going though. Well, yeah, but I don't realize that in the moment, I guess. Do you guys hear that? Just thunder? like, Oh yes. It's awful. I'm sorry. God, oh, knock it off. Maybe. I'm recording a podcast. Jesus. Oh, well, it's he probably doesn't impolite. like that. So, using his name in vain and such. He uh, definitely would not like our podcast. No. Uh, but, uh, no, I, uh, apparently this is a common thing. I mean, like, I would, in my 20s, I definitely went through a shoplifting phase. Like, I would go into Safeway uh, and, like, I would get deli food. Like, I'd go in through, through one entrance, get deli food, and then just go out the other entrance. I did that all the time. Uh, I could do the same with beer, you know, I just go and pick up a beer, um, you know, and just walk out with it. But you got to have like brass balls of fucking steel to shoplift. And this was back when they prosecuted shoplifting. Uh, so yeah. When I was in college, um, you know, like back in, um, Lance, or like the outdoor section of Walmart, how they have those plastic shelves. Yeah. Me and my buddy had drunk, had uh, dug the crawl space out from underneath his house so we could grow weed in it. Nice. And we decided that those shells from Walmart would be, like, the perfect thing to, like, set on the dirt to, like, put the uh, hydro stations on. So we walked back in there, and we just picked up a bunch of them and headed out through the store, and we were heading out the door, and somebody stopped us, and they're like, uh, what are you guys doing? It's like, oh, Growing yeah. Weed. <laughs> Since it's the off-season, uh, Mark in uh, Regional, he said that we could come by and pick a few of these up because you've got to replace them all in the spring. And they're like, <laughs> Like, yeah. Did um, that work? Yeah. Uh -huh. Like, I'm a, clean cut, I'm a clean cut white guy with clear non-regional diction. Like, I could pretty much do whatever I want if I do it with a little bit of confidence. Yeah, I. it just, really is. I mean, it's like, it's just like walking into, just walking into different movie theaters. I, I mean, I don't know. You could just walk into anywhere if you've got enough fucking confidence because especially if you got like a clipboard, you know, this has been done a thousand times. You can get anywhere with a ladder. You can get anywhere with a clipboard. Um, I don't know. I just like, it doesn't occur to me to, man, I hope my fucking electricity doesn't go out. Uh, it doesn't occur to me to like steal from the self-checkout line. Like I, maybe I should. I mean, you know, everybody else does it, but I just don't, do that like i if it doesn't scan i'm like uh, hi uh, can you help me and there's like just some fat fucking mexican lady who comes over to like help me and mm -hmm. she has to like put it in manually with her code and it's like it's a two dollar item here's the thing my man we are in the looting phase of the dying empire and walmart is a state subsidized company Walmart being looted is no different than the elite looting our coffers through inflation when they get the first run and all the new money printed. 
Okay. So, hey, hey, listen here, Dave Smith. I, 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 I get it. Not a politics show. I get it. I still think it's, it's wrong still to steal. Immoral. Yeah, it's it's just a conscience thing. It's like it's bad to do it. So I don't steal. Plus, I'm not a rich man, but you know, I I can pay two dollars for that shit that I could have stole. If I listen, I just I think it's wrong. I am glad. How many percent said that they fucking steal? Uh, it said that they do. So let's see. Eight point three percent said yes a lot, and fifteen point three said sometimes. You know what? That is the same. It's like twenty four. Oh my god. See, God is mad at this stealing talk. Yeah, uh, he's he's mad at all these people potentially. I shouldn't be talking about this. No, you shouldn't yeah. be doing the same jokes that I do. You can't. You're a woman. But mm. uh, like no, that is ridiculous. It's the same type of people that it took me until the second week of the fucking Patreon to realize that when I put the first episode up that in the preview text you could see the YouTube link in it. And I saw that. I was like, wait, that's more than we have. And some of you stole it. And, and good on you for that. That's pretty oh, good. Oh, we have we have content thieves. Yep. Uh they they were they were correct to do so, but I fixed, I remedied this situation. What smart people? I know. Well, I mean, you, we you have know, smart fans. I well, I let's not go that fucking far, but geniuses. I love them all. Yeah, I, I like most of them. Um, don't like except the for that guy. one kid, the British guy. I hate him. Um, <laughs> there's also He's now just a dear Abby. Well, there's another guy. There's another guy now that like his bit is like you guys get bad advice, and it's like, yeah, yeah. My advice is which one is that? Was that Christopher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christopher's just being an asshole to me. He just That's does good. that. He's, I like that. He doesn't even mean it. He's just being mean to me specifically. Well, stop tagging me in it because I got shit to do on Twitter. I have. Well, he probably to hates you about. too. Probably. It seems like he didn't even follow me. I'm not gonna follow your ass, idiot. Go <laughs> keep listening to the show, you dumb prick. Fuck you. No, Roscoe you hates listen. you too. Hold on. Ro uh, let me do the. Let me do the layup into the fucking dunk. Roscoe, do you hate this guy, Christopher? He's okay. Fuck you. <laughs> There you go, Chris. You've got one. You've got oh, one. Friends. One out of three. No, I'm just kidding. I like Christopher. He just, uh, we just argue a lot. Listen, move on to the next damn thing. Cause I'm I, moving on to the next thing. I just wanted to say that I'm very surprised by the results of it, but I'm, it's a happy surprise. I, I don't know. I just think Look, that I'm so poor, I can't even pay attention. <laughs> yeah. But, like, I'm younger than the Ten Commandments. I got to find ways to uh, make ends meet somehow. Right. But you know, I mean, like, uh, spare that That's one home different. depot. Spare and that, that means, and that means occasionally pocketing a couple of lighters when I'm going to the self checkout stand at Walmart. They don't sell lighters at the self checkout, do they? Not here, they don't. Maybe they do over there. You live in a lawless land. They do. They have them at the self checkout where I am. See, that's bullshit. They don't have. Well, I live in Florida, so I said lawless land. Okay, Florida's a lawless land. They yeah. don't have those at the self checkout where at the Walmart that I'm at. Probably because people just stole them. In my state, if somebody breaks into your home, you can legally kill them down the street. In my state, if somebody fucking says they're coming to your home, I'm pretty sure you can just go over there and beat them up. You could call it a drone strike. Yeah, I. <laughs> It's Florida, baby. This is, uh, you know, it's it's fucking Florida. It's a wild swampland. A bunch of outlaws all the time. That's, I mean, they call it the free state, and it's like, well, the lighters ain't free because we had to take them out of the goddamn checkout line because you savages kept stealing them. It's all Roscoe's fault. I Roscoe would go the fucking fee. crazy in Florida. Dude, I would be Florida man to the friggin' maximum. Oh my god, dude, it's it's all the time. Are you seeing crazy shit? The other day we were just going uh, to, to Target, which is the classy Walmart. We were just going to fucking Target, and <laughs> there was I, I I I don't have the phone anymore because another crazy fucking incident where I witnessed a terrible car crash. Had Erica pull over. There's this black woman going, "My baby," and I thought that this kid was unconscious. I thought it was, he was dead. So like I'm like out in the middle of the road going, "Oh, what do we do?" Uh, you know, crazy stuff. Uh, but uh, when we Did were giving him ass to mouth, I mean, um, to mouth. <laughs> no, the, the cop showed up. I mean, he was fine. He woke up. He was he was okay. But it scarred me. I had nightmares that night. Uh, but 
No, I just like there was just a car in the fucking bush. Like we were at Target and it was just we pulled in to like go to a restaurant or whatever. There was just a fucking wrecked ass car in the bush just alone. When I was in high school, me and my dad tried to uh, get a guy out from underneath this truck after it had gotten uh, pinned by a log truck that had turned over. Oof, that shit haunted me for a while. Bro, mm. yeah. See, this is something that, Abby, this is something, see, this is stuff that men have to experience. But Dude, I mean, you are talking, both talking about things that you encountered just going around. What are and you what talking did you, what about? Did, what did you encounter while you were making uh, shitty bean burritos tonight? Well, I leave the house to go to the grocery store. To to Walmart. To, to Walmart. Where you don't or Target. steal. I went, to, I went to Target today. Oh, boy. Oh, that at was... Target, they don't stop me walking out the door for some reason. But Walmart thinks I'm a thief. If you want to talk about a buzz, try some shoplifting at Target. <laughs> okay, don't shoplift. At... <laughs> Let's move on to the next fucking part of the show. Don't shoplift is my fucking advice. It's, it's gay. <laughs> Dole shoplift. I mean, if you're in your 20s, they don't prosecute it anymore. So who gives a fuck? Like if you if you live in San Francisco, yeah, stop paying for shit. If you have but, if you have kids, just look a little frazzled when you go through the self checkout line and forget stuff. And if you have the kids with you, you could be like, oh my oh my gosh, I am I am ragged at both ends. Thank you so much. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. If you yeah, if I work. have the kids with me, which I usually do, it's best to go to like a uh, nice no, on, looking on, lady cashier because they'll just skip scanning things on purpose because you're a mom and they're like, oh, moms need a break, you know, and they like wink at you while they do it. It's very sweet. Like a nice looking old lady will just not scan like five or six things. Two randomly. things. You can just, you can just do that for yourself at a self checkout line. That's, That's true. true. And, you, and she'd also wink because she doesn't get the fucking instructions. Yet you and we get the camera uh, yeah. <laughs> every time. Like, the, the pop up pops up that's like, uh, it looks like you were stealing something. Wait for assistance. Like, oh my God. They true. have that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I forgot the first one now, but no, I did get, uh, I think that the reason the prompt for this poll was not, uh, am I, am I incorrect here? The prompt for this poll was because the cashier at the Wawa did wink and give me free $20 sunglasses. No, that's not why. Actually, I saw someone else post about how it's interesting that most people acknowledge that it's okay to steal 20% of your items from a self-checkout. Ah, see, that's that's incorrect. You shouldn't steal, dude. Yeah, Stealing's that's wrong. That's what I was trying to figure out. It's just I don't think most people do it very much. I don't know. It's like a youth thing. Yeah. Like I had friends in high school who were on probation for like a year because they wouldn't stop stealing headphones from Walmart or whatever. Oh, I'll bet those kids never got molested. Uh they probably all did, actually. All right, next part of the show. Okay, so I got a Dear Abby, well, two there from we the go. British kid. The nah, first one, nah, I think you nah. told me I couldn't ask. Yeah, because he said who was in Paris, I get it, that's a whole bit, and then... can't uh, say it. And then, no, his second thing was like, are the Discord mods uh, still a dick? I don't know, you're still a dick. Fuck you, I you're wish not allowed. That's basically what I was gonna say, is that he was a retard, but okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude, like, you're not, you know, <laughs> like, I don't know. I didn't even ban him. I just timed him out for a week, and then he threw a fucking little Gen Z fit so he can suck my shit. He's fine. He's going to be fine. I play video games with him, but I'm not going to fucking deal with his <laughs> shit every day. Wait, okay, so you will play video games with him. Of course, now I, think we're, I think we're still friends on Steam. Yeah, I'll totally play games with him, but I, cause I can deal with it then. But no, I'm not going to deal with you fucking like talking to people that are actually not gay. He's not allowed to talk to the people in our Discord. No, is not, that if gonna, no not if he's not going to have this. If he's going to have this fucking terrible attitude, and then now, right now, what he's doing in the, in the premiere of this is he's being like, duh, 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 duh. "Oh, blind me, mate! Fucking nerd! Fuck you! We can still play video games, but no, like, until you get a better attitude. It's not an advice show. I don't it's know. It's not. Yeah, it's definitely an advice show. We should start giving advice, solid advice. We are going to give advice. Okay, here's the first Let's one. Give the next one. Okay. I recently met a girl in NYC who kept no a note stock of everything her boyfriend has done wrong thus far so that if a breakup happens, she can use it to get over it quickly. Her therapist advised her to do this. Her therapist is a woman. Well, yeah, probably. I think most therapists probably are. Yeah, like a therapist or like a life coach. Yeah, absolutely. No, Those are life the coaches are dudes. titles to get. Life coaches are dudes. 
It's just like a, an easy certification to get. I don't know. Wait, do you need a certification to be a life coach? Yeah, but you don't need like a degree. Well, where do you get a certification? They're like, actually, you're you just fucking a, great at life. Like, what you have is, to take like a course and a test, but you don't have to have like a bachelor's or a master's to a, first. To be a fucking life coach. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. I mean, it's how do they gauge that? Field. You can still just call yourself a life coach. It, you can literally not even be certified and just call yourself a life coach like life coach is the unofficial like low tier cheap thing and grifter thing a lot of the time online lots of people call themselves life coaches on because so you can just call yourself that yeah i wonder who that is um like but, psychotherapist is a little harder you have to actually be certified to call yourself a psychotherapist you have to actually be psycho yeah. yes dude uh, you, yeah you put a space in between that see they're so psycho they don't even know the space bar exists I think that uh, <laughs> The, the advice from that therapist it really speaks to the way that our culture currently sees relationships as just completely transient and disposable. Oh, absolutely. Just the assumption that they will break up, basically. Actually, I was thinking about it when I read this. It's it's a little weird, I guess. But the um, the only like sex ed talk that we had in school was about how you like it, it was like this weird thing with puppets that had velcro on them the guy was what like up in front hell? of us talking okay and he like made you know stuck the puppets together as a boy puppet and a girl puppet and he like ripped them apart and the velcro is really loud and basically the whole thing was like a metaphor for like how how broken your heart will be when you break up if you have sex before hand so it was just the assumption is you will break up, okay. and therefore you shouldn't ever have sex. Couple that things. was the whole talk. A couple things. One, if your husband's what? dick doesn't have Velcro on it, then he is a lizard person, and you're, you, you have what? lizard children. No, uh, Roscoe, your, your dick is covered in Velcro, right? Right. It's all hook pieces. Yeah, exactly. What? This is how penises look. Are you? This is. See, she's all like. Am I don't married watch, to a lizard person? She's like, don't watch porn all the fucking time. Otherwise, she'd see like a normal, healthy yeah, never, Velcro penis. I've never seen porn in my life, actually. I, I fucking believe that because you don't know about Velcro dick. I don't know. <laughs> that's what circumcision is, is taking the Velcro off. The Velcro? Oh, maybe that's what I <laughs> <laughs> no, that sounds weird. We had like a normal sex ed where, uh, and this was like, I grew up in fucking Poco, West Virginia, like rural West Virginia. And uh, our um, uh, fucking, you know, gym teacher was like, all right, so here's scrotum, sperm, vagina, like, you know, all the, oh, all wow. the stuff. Actual yeah. information and yeah. not just like beating around the bush and saying weird, cryptic, metaphorical things. That's amazing. That's fucking weird. Like, I, I get I, rural ass West Virginia, dude. Uh, yeah, rural ass Southeast Kentucky. And ours was just like very straightforward and to the point. Like, there was like a little bit of mentioning of like et that STDs were possible, but yeah. it wasn't. The, we didn't the even talk about STDs. Well, we did in Dare. We were dead. What? That's a drug course. Yeah, they talked about STDs. They were like, "Hey, here. listen, if you do crack, you might end up like Abby's mom." Well, it with was. AIDS. Uh, they were talking about like needles. Like, if you do heroin and share needles, you can get this. And that's the only time I ever heard not, about STDs in school. That, that's yeah. not an STD. That's just. Well, okay. If you have AIDS and you share a needle, like, is that not is AIDS not an STD because you got it from a needle? No, it's a blood disease. Okay. Well, that's okay. HIV. HIV. That's the same fucking okay, thing. AIDS is just an advanced part. version of that. You learn nothing in the school. What am I supposed to learn if they won't teach me? I, I guess. I Like, dude, me and Roscoe, rural areas in the Midwest. And, yeah, and, I lived in a rural area in the South. Maybe I, it's just worse down here. I, I don't know. Well, I, I may they didn't even teach me what a period was. Dude, I got my first period and I thought I was dying. You are dying. I am currently dying. She is I'm, on her period, by the way. It's pretty funny. I'm not on my period right now. Oh, she finally wrapped it up. Erica's on her period. You though. named the episode period. <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows when I had my last period, you named the episode after her. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty funny. Every month, guys, just remember, third week of every month, you got to get at her because she's vulnerable. So they are going to listen to you. Oh, my gosh. It was a bad week. They were being mean to me all week. Yeah, they probably were not normal, not any more than normal, but you, because Erica says like all the it. time, 
No, Eric is just like, you're especially mean to me during my period or during my PMS, <laughs> you know, type of thing. You're like, that's literally not, I'm just like this all the time and you're more sensitive. Well, like, maybe dude, you should be nicer to her so that she thinks you're being normal. No, why? Also, this was fucking, we didn't talk the whole goddamn day. Uh, the other day, it was like Sunday. Uh, we went to goddamn McDonald's and, uh, you know, I got a couple sandwiches, whatever. She got her stuff and I got my stuff, I assumed. I got two sandwiches because I was going to eat both of them. She eventually comes in. I'm laying there hungover, all of that. And she comes in. She's like, oh, is that for me? Like she just gets a free fucking sandwich. She assumed that she gets a free sandwich. Oh. And I was like, no. And then like, I get it. Like you can have it if you want. And I toss it over the TV at her. And I'm like, here you go. And then she didn't catch. And then <sighs> like all of a sudden she's mad at me the next day. She ruined the sandwich. It was mad at me the whole fucking day. You threw it at her. You could have just handed oh, it to her. Why I, are you she was already, diming she, her oh, she, a free she, sandwich? First of all, those sandwiches are like $4 a piece now. I'm not sure if oh, you no, checked Oh, no. $4. Oh, okay. I get it. You're rich. Um, I'm not now, rich. You've never had it. Yeah, I know because you never had a job in your life. But so anyway, no, I like I was tossing it to her and any person should be able to catch and, and she couldn't. And then she was upset the rest of the fucking day. I, it's not like I like chucked it at her. I was like, listen here, skank. You know, like, I was like, all I right, don't believe there you. you go, catch. Nah. Plus, we're clumsier when we're on our periods. The hormones that's, make what? your mind all fuzz, fuzzy. Foggy. I don't think that's even true. You probably threw it overhand. I did. I, I, I did it, you know, I did it in an arc. You know, like reverse softball. I did it at an arc, you know, I'm like, here, well, fucking, you know. But yeah, I don't know, she was all fucking pissed about that. Because it's like, I mean, and honestly, it's like, listen, if I wanted to hit you with a McDonald's sandwich, I would go buy six of them and do that. And just throw them yeah, one after I don't, the other. It's like, no, women on their periods are just completely fucking irrational. Because like, yeah. hey, do you also think that the moon bullies you? Well, no. The moon affects my sleeping. The moon affects like. Well, it, it. I mean, our hormones go on a cycle very similar to the cycles of the moon. Like it. It just kind of make. I don't know. No, you believe in that shit. See, she didn't want to. Uh, Roscoe, do you hear that? She didn't want to fucking say that shit because she knows that I'm going to lay into her on it because it's bullshit. Why? Women think women think that Why the moon and the seas are connected to their fucking essence. Yeah? What is the harm? Why can't we believe that? Because it's magical. It's fake. It's not magical. You're not that important. You're just some bitch. I don't think I'm... Okay, so if every single woman on the planet experiences a thing, then me experiencing it is not special anyway. Yeah, I think that every single woman on the, on the planet has a high enough fucking just assholery about them that they think that the moon okay is look it them. is a verifiable fact that for example more babies are born on a full moon women go into labor on full moons okay like it's let's just the a cycle thing the, and let's let's look at the cycle of the moon less than the cycle of you know bitches fucking bleeding ass puss whoa <laughs> <laughs> Are you shocked by the language? <laughs> I just wow! I thought I hated women. Yeah, not, you know, not as much as Bryden. He hates everyone. Well, it's fucking bull. My first podcast I ever started was called "I Fucking Hate Everything." Actually, it ran for a very short amount of time. Well, that's because you gave it a bad name. Well, you know what? It's too you long. It's not catchy. Shot through the heart, and you're <laughs> to blame, Roscoe. You give love a bad name. Bow! Why? <laughs> Shit rules. Very cute. Very cute. I'm glad you got your buddy on here to sing with you. I know. We're the best fucking podcast uh, duo in the entire world. All right. Let's get into some Reddit advice from Am I the Asshole? Am I the Asshole for not recognizing my sister-in-law without makeup? <laughs> this... <laughs> This is ridiculous. However, opinions seem to be divided in the family, so I want something unbiased. 
I have been married to my wife for four years and we've been together for 10. She is an older sister, Emily, who moved out when she was 18 or 19. My wife, Kate, has a great relationship with Emily. She visits us a few times a month. Sometimes she takes our kids out and we also do some activities as a family with her, like hiking, going overseas, and so on. We do not ask her to babysit our kids as they have a nanny and my mother to do so. What the heck? What? They have so much help. Sorry. Anyway. Yeah, they're fucking I'm getting rich very people. jealous right now. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have a nanny rich. or a mom. They included going overseas as hobbies, dude. I like, I that's a once in a lifetime so fucking thing for any of us. Yeah. My mother has left her job to spend more time with her grandchildren of her own free will, and we do reimburse her. So they pay their mom to watch the kids. Okay, anyway, that Is was that all unnecessary. Uh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> no, this is Kanye writing this. Now, Emily is a lot into makeup. In fact, I have never seen her without heavy makeup. Even when she stays over, she comes out from her room with a full face on and wears waterproof makeup in the swimming pool or to the beach. Are you serious? Th who is this woman? Because she is the best. That's how all <laughs> you bitches should be. Honestly, be on your fucking best at all times. I mean, this is like, th she is the Tom Brady of bimbos, bro. It's amazing. I need to get better makeup or something because I get waterproof makeup. It's not waterproof. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing, to be honest with you. Yeah, you, I don't know how expensive the makeup has to be to actually do what it says it's supposed to do, but they all smudge and mess up. I don't know, man. But from what Katie tol Kate told me, she's been like this since she was 13. Over the weekend? So, our, dude, that's, that's a fucking fake bitch. I rules. Her skin must be just horrific. Well, you wouldn't know, because she's got yeah. great makeup. Hold on, Roscoe. Bitches, makeup or no makeup? No makeup. Oh, dude, I'm going bitches makeup. Except for Erica, who cannot wear makeup because she's beautiful just the way she is. She cannot. You don't let her, or she no, doesn't she wears want to. She wears okay. makeup. It also, it just like literally, I would like to get to goddamn BJ's brew house. All right, like I don't need. I want to go to Buffalo Wild Wings. It does at take a, a reasonable long time. fucking time. All right, like that's fair. I just do light makeup i don't do any of that contouring crap it only takes me like half an hour but I, some I, people go crazy with it no nah, i mean oh, bitches like yeah, they can do crazy shit with makeup now also i mean if i were you i, would, I wouldn't try it's like the elephant man trying to put on eyeliner okay so, look it's fine <laughs> it's like glitter, okay. glitter on a turd but go ahead over the weekend, our daughter, who is seven, sneaked into Emily's room when she was staying over and decided to play with her makeup and hide it. Also, another, let, stop real quick. Really like the use of, uh, use of sneaked instead of saying snuck, which is a bullshit fake word. Sneaked. I enjoy sneaked. that. This person's smart. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. It's a man. I was going to say you should have. Uh, you you kind of missed that. <laughs> it's definitely I thought a dude. that's what you were going to say. Anyway, that was early in the morning. When I woke up, I bumped into Emily in the hallway while she was looking for her makeup and did not recognize her at all. Only so. She looked completely different from what I'm used to and looked like a middle aged woman. I have nearly called the, I I have nearly called the police as I thought someone broke in our house, but Kate stopped me. However, Emily already heard me saying, "Who the hell are you?" and is aware I have not recognized her. Not the asshole, but he should also congratulate her for being fucking good at makeup. Yeah, she, should, we'll she must have been doing you. some like contouring and like very heavy makeup. Yeah. Oh, or she's. Do we know if she's Asian or not? Because if you've seen some of those videos, they've got like prosthetic noses. And oh, shit they, that they do. do, and they do. They put things in their eyes to make them wider and stuff. It's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, we don't know that they're not Asian. That's possible. Uh, I have apologized and ex explained to my wife and sister-in-law that I didn't recognize her and thought a stranger broke in, as Emily looks so different without makeup. <laughs> However, Emily got upset, and she and my wife called me an asshole for this. Emily left, and Kate is giving me the cold shoulder. My father-in-law and mother-in-law are on my side, but I'm wondering if I was really an asshole. No, no, you're not an asshole. That wasn't on purpose. Also, even if it was, what a great bit. Like, you should have yeah. just played it as a bit. Like, you know, that rules. Ah, who the hell are you? Uh, that rules. Okay, so I have, I have an issue with this story. Okay. Did she really looks so different that despite her like probably wearing clothes that he's seen her 
wear before, having the exact same body type, and being in his house, like his mind couldn't put all of these really obvious clues together. Well, well he's he a says it was it was early in the morning, and he just like got out of bed. Is my assumption based on the wording of this? So was, like he's still sleepy. I was also assuming that he had never seen her naked, and that she was walking around with like an open robe. Nobody else was thinking about her tits. During that no, story? no, oh, okay. nobody. It's words. It's text. I it's thinking, not. Well, it's okay. called imagination. I was imagining her fucking oh. tits. Uh, that's good. Good for you. I mean, Roscoe, for you were thinking tits too, right? No, I was not. Ah, man. I'm more. He's so honest. In uh, in in my version of the story, she was walking around in the house in one of those uh, like uh bunny robes that cuts off like right above the butt oh yeah or like a uh uh you know like a um kind of like a long t-shirt with like no pants on oh yeah perfect dude oh my god <sighs> and then like her feet still manicured though like they still are good and then like just perky nips and, and, okay. one, of the, and one of the feet is prosthetic yeah <laughs> that is extremely specific <laughs> that is damn <laughs> They should give people like if I if I lost my leg at the knee, if they had to amputate like my leg from the knee down, I would just get a peg leg, I think. If they, if you ever have, I just want you to know this. If you ever have any type of an accident and you go make a GoFundMe, I am going to actively try to get it taken down. Why? Why would you do that? That's so mean. Because I want you to look even more like a monster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, my family is going to be homeless because of my fucking face cancer. I'll be like, fuck her. <laughs> oh my I hope I don't ever get face cancer. That'd be terrible. I would look like a monster then. So uh, No, but Roscoe, um, I, you, Roscoe makes a great fucking point about this. But I, I just, I don't know. It's early in the morning. Bitches can do crazy shit with their makeup. Um, so I understand where the guy is coming from. But uh, I can understand her like, knowing what Roscoe said. You know, a man. Uh, I, I understand the other point of view now, why she might be a little bit upset. Well, it's just embarrassing. She's probably just embarrassed. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, listen, ladies your age, all right? And yeah, I, I'm also picturing this woman as like kind of like a wine mom, single, you know, 58 yeah. type of thing. Well, she's 30. Wait, she's, yeah, she is older so the wife is 32 and i swear to god if you say mid-30s is older i'm gonna fucking travel over there and burn your house to the ground. no no no. that's what i mean i mean though she's the older sister and of his wife who is 32 so i don't know how much older she's pushing 40 probably um which is also erica listens to this listen i'm gonna love you when you're 40 but <laughs> which is gonna look hideous and wrinkly. Is I that mean, what you're going to say? Once they're done being 23, there's no fucking reason to talk to them anymore unless you love them. So, uh, you know, it is just is the way that it is. I mean, I, listen, I'm no, I'm no prize either, but uh, I'm a guy. It doesn't matter. I just fucking... Just, every guy is Sean Connery, all right? It's the That's truth. That's absurd. You are not Sean Connery. No, Maybe Sean Mr. Connery. Don Cheadle over here, but oh. not you. Oh, did you hear that, Roscoe? She called you hot. <laughs> I didn't know. Wait, 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 wait. I just meant he's more handsome than you. Wait. <laughs> oh, wow. She's calling you handsome now. Well, I, I will say that I have gotten handsomer as I've gotten older, which has made dating in my late 30s a little bit easier. Oh, that's great. You don't look... You don't look that old. Listen, as she continues to compliment you. <laughs> look, stop! This is absurd. <laughs> I'm just trying to be nice to our guests. Oh, I and just want to be pride. nice to them. The whole point blushes. was that I was trying to insult you, and you're just doing the stupid vain, Bane voice. Why? I don't know. That's Sean Connery. What the hell? Are you it is kind That's of That's what Bane. you sound like. You it sound like Bane. Bane. <laughs> now, this is, this is Bane. Nobody cared who like I was Sean until Connery. I put the Sean Connery on. Sean Connery. No, Sean. Actually, damn, you're That's right. Sean Connery awesome. and Bane are like basically the same guy. So yeah. They, uh, so, no, fuck. Let's work that. It's like one of my live streams. <laughs> I'm the last dragon. That's, this is Sean Connery. You're right. It's more this way. Uh, no, I just sound like some weird Irishman. 
I'm the Candyman. Listen, her son, Biker. Um, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to your house. Oh man. Ah, uh, dear. No, Bane. Bane and Sean Connery do sound very similar. It's just because your voice is so high pitched that it your goes more into the Bane territory. Pussy is high pitched with <laughs> puss stupid. That was a dumb thing to say. With shit, because you like shit dildos. No. Shit That's... dildos Ugh. is the name of the episode. Shit no, dildos. please stop. I, people keep asking me why the episodes are named what they are, and I'm the just last, like, sorry. The last one was good. Sid Barrett was a squirter. We didn't even <laughs> talk about Sid Barrett until the bonus Sid episode, Barrett, so people didn't what? know what you were talking about. We did probably talk about it. No, it Wait, was in the bonus. Real? I thought it was just pee. That squirt is pee. <laughs> It is a, a fluid that is similar to it, Squirt but not quite. Pee. Well, I always noticed it did taste a little different. <laughs> okay, let's not. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on to the next story, so Bryden will stop with his very bad impressions. Squirt is pee. <laughs> I feel suddenly and extremely attracted to my coworker after riding on the back of his dirt bike. That is, is not. This... That's actually not a, a Reddit thing. That's she just saying it. Yeah. She just meant it. Yeah. Well, she's saying, is this real or a consequence of adrenaline? Oh, see, you know where that joke didn't land? No, way. No. Because you don't have a oh, fucking me? job. Yeah, because you don't have a fucking job. Oh. Lazy. That's why I was confused. I don't have a job. <laughs> You've never had a job. Look, I, I had a job once. I don't think she would have gotten on the dirt bike if she didn't have a crush on him already. That is true. Uh, well, they were going to the same place, but yeah, I think that's right. I don't know. It depends. She has a crush on him. <laughs> it's a riding a dirt bike with somebody is pretty intimate. She knew what she was getting into. Yeah. Well, hold on. Hold on. Is there a chance that she's fucking stupid? She could be an idiot. That's is very she... possible. I mean, like, dude, if you and me rode a dirt bike together, it wouldn't, you know, it doesn't mean I have a crush. I mean, I do have a crush on you, but, like, it wouldn't mean that I have a crush on are you, right? Are you talking to Roscoe? Yes, of course I'm talking to Roscoe. I'm just making what sure, if, dude. What if What if we were riding tandem on a DUI scooter? Dude, what if we just fucking? Just two fellas fucking. Oh, please, why are you gay every episode? Why Brian? are you gay? Anyway, keep reading, bitch. We've had a healthy, friendly relationship uh, the last year we work together. We have a lot of common interests, hang out once in a while, but usually with other coworkers. Yesterday I wanted to go shooting and he asked if I wanted to ride on his dirt bike out to the spot. Oh dude, no, he's got a crush on her for sure. Yeah. He's like, I don't hey, know get why you would ask. Fucking that. orgasm for women machine. Since breaking the contact barrier and holding on to him, I feel obsessed. I never noticed he smelled so good or was actually so handsome. Oh, my does God. Oh, my God. Okay. Does she have a boyfriend? No. Oh, well, then fucking date this guy. Who cares? Yeah. Do they obviously up. like each other. Like, are they 12? What is this? Yeah. This uh, is... They're 24 and 26. So they're basically 12. They're basically 12. They're not. They're, they're babies, dude. They're, they're not babies. I'm like two years older. I know. They're you're done developing until you're like 25. Yep. Still basically just retards. Yeah. That's see, she refuses to accept this because she Look, doesn't. I even... had all three of my kids by the time I was 25. Yeah. And uh, you know, I don't know, I'm not gonna rag on your kids. So I got nothing. Anyway, read the shit. I just did. That was the whole that thing. Was it? Basically, well, okay. That's she went the on gist a dirt ride by dirt bike ride and now she has a crush. Like, she I, wants it, to know if it's real or if it was just adrenaline. Right. But I think that if you keep thinking about it, it later, then it's obviously a crush. Oh, my God. Just fucking see if it's good. And then, like, date or marry or what the fuck ever. That See, that is obviously written by a woman who's a fucking moron. She's 24, 26, whatever the hell. Listen, you went on a dirt ride. That, he was flirting. At no point does the guy have a dirt bike where he's like, hey, hop on the back, you know. And he's not trying to fucking get you to, you know, do the thing where you wrap around his, his, his fucking feel him up and all of that shit. He was hoping for a hand job. He's seen the Bound 2 video. He was hoping you guys did fuck okay. on that well, goddamn thing. The what now? Bound 2 by Kanye West. Bound to falling in love. Uh-huh, honey. 
the one where he, he does the, the ridiculous video where he's like riding a motorcycle and banging Kim Kardashian on it. You haven't seen that? No. Oh my I don't god, it rules. TV. It's not on t it's on the internet. That's nobody's watched TV since 1996. Well, I'm not really on the internet either. Like I Okay. Like pretty much the only time I'm on the internet, I'm doing podcasting. This is an old fucking this is Roscoe, you're wrong. This is an old ass fucking video. And I oh, the only time you I think you texted me when DMX died. I did. Well, he was very upset about it. Oh, I'm not on the internet. I just knew the immediate that also RIP to a king. Do you know how many people message me when DMX died? Oh, every fucking person, I'm sure. Yeah. Literally dozens of people. That's well, I mean, it's a sad day, but no, I can't believe uh, go. Everybody else knows what I'm talking about. The bound to video, uh, bound to what? It's just, it's, shut up. <laughs> it's just bound to, and it's bound to fall in love actually, by the way. Uh-huh, honey. He fucking, Very cute. he fucking, you know, he's, see, she's talking to you. She's talking to you. I'm again, not, Roscoe. I am not. She's in for that white Don Cheadle. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this is, I'm just maybe I really will kill myself as a result of the show. It's right. possible. That's fine. Roscoe can fill in. It's not a big deal. It's just goodbye. Just, just take the Poor Patreon world. and just run with it. But uh, no, I mean, listen, I'm done talking on the fucking subject because like this guy is obviously flirting with her, and she yeah. is obviously into this guy. This is just flirting. Why would you make a fucking Reddit post about it? Why would you bring people, it to this show? People have problems. So if you're on a forum all day, every day, like these stupid Redditors are, like they're just at work and on it all the time, they want to make a post. They just want a reason to make a post. Yeah, because everybody's going to back her up and go like, yeah, he's into you, because he clearly is. He is. You should just go for it. I That's they, my advice. I hope they live a happy life until they crash that dirt bike, because, I, you know, those are dangerous. <laughs> Let's go. Let's hear from Roscoe, though. <laughs> yes. Roscoe, I mean, do you agree with the team, or do you think that maybe there's something afoot? Well, that's that's what I said as soon as I heard like the first little bit of this story. Is like she has a crush on him. Like that's the whole reason she got on the dirt bike in the first place. That's true. I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't get on the talk uh, on the dirt bike with the Toxic Avenger or Abby. Uh, you know. Um, but you would with Roscoe. Oh, I, in a heartbeat, because I trust Roscoe. I don't trust women to drive shit. But, I'm not driving a dirt bike. I'm never going to drive a dirt bike. That sounds scary. And if I had a dirt bike and you got it on the back of it, I would try my best to do a wheelie and just get I know you would. I would. I mean, it's and then I'd circle back and run me over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I understand. It'd be like a Let's... fucking Chinese CCTV video, dude. Like. Oh my gosh, that video is still in my head now. Oh my goodness. Ah, <laughs> yeah, let's not sad people out about any of that fucking shit they do in China. Okay, let's go to the last thing for the free last episode one. here. Best first date conversation starters. I saw that this is a TikTok video. I'm just got a screenshot of the actual conversation starters. I almost wore the same outfit as you today. You stealing clothes from my wardrobe? That's honest to God, not that fucking bad. It's pretty funny. Don't use the last part, but just saying I almost wore the same outfit today is a pretty good quip. Yeah, that's not too bad. It just seems like a boomer joke. You know, like I would expect my grandpa to say that or something. Well, what he is, like you could say it to anybody. Putting you stealing clothes from my wardrobe is fucking weird because no guy should go. Wardrobe, wardrobe. <laughs> like yeah. Well, I almost wore the same outfit as you today. I've probably heard a bunch of times. So I've literally never fucking heard that before. Well, you're not a woman. Well, it's a thing that I, people say to women. Uh, okay, didn't know that. Um, nobody says it to me because I dress so fucking well. Nobody dresses as well as Bryden, so they can't say it. Yeah, no, it's a thing that old men say to young women just to make them giggle, basically. It's like an old man. Oh, well, that's good. Line. to know. I mean, like, I'm obviously never going to say this to people, but I thought that was funny. Yeah. So it's like a like it's not like a trying to pick up woman, a woman kind of joke. It's like, a, I don't know, like your You're your uncle up. is meeting your girlfriend for the first time and your uncle says it to make her smile. Hey, like, I almost wore that. Yeah. I, I don't think know. That's funny. Good. Like I, on, if you're on a first date and you're sitting down together at the restaurant, I think it could be pretty funny. 
Like, oh my gosh, I almost wore the exact same thing. Yeah. That, yeah. I, uh, Roscoe, have you heard that before? I've not. See, that that's a weird thing. So you've heard, Abby, you've heard this a bunch then. Yes, but never in like a someone is actually flirting with me context. Oh, no, they were. They're, they're, you said uncle. Yeah. They Just were. like creepy old men. Yeah. yeah I oh, guess yeah, so. They Maybe were. they were flirting with me. 100%. Yeah. If you would have been like, oh, really cool. Do you want me to suck your dick? They would have been like, all right. Like, guarantee. Like, okay. Well, that's, that's a, okay. That's disgusting. I don't know. Mm. I listen. Don't be disgusted with me. Be disgusted with those old men that were looking at your. I don't want to think about this. Whatever the hell is going on with your body, but like, <laughs> I'm, I'm not the one who looks like a worm. That's you. You look like a worm. Yeah, I know. I at least I look, look I like a shape. Look, I look like something recognizable in nature. All right. I don't know what the hell you are. <laughs> I'm like abstract art. That's yeah, me. I mean, <laughs> it's like if Pablo Picasso painted a person, it would still. Not even no. make sense because he did paint, but he painted the peasant's hands, I think, and like he did a lot of fucking. That that joke is not good. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> you're ugly. You're ugly. Okay, here's the next one. You look like a diehard Justin Bieber fan, uh, and then he has like little notes after, and that for that one it says whether she is or isn't, tease her on it a little, then yep. just ask her favorite. But Justin Bieber rules. This is not 2009 when he was a like eight year old fag. Is he still doing music? Or, what, yeah, dude. He just did that uh, song with the uh, kid Leroy or whatever. That uh, I don't know who that I'll is. I'll be either. fucked up if, uh, if there's something right here. I the same. Something blah 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 da 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 da. Good da. job. It's real catchy music. Yeah, I can tell because you got it right. Well, no, I got the For rhythm sure. right, and this is the fucking way it goes. And da, 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 and like, I'll be fucked up if you catch me right here. No, Justin Bieber rules. Justin Bieber is actually. It sounds like a nursery rhyme. Well, all good songs are, but no, Ju uh, Justin Bieber fucking rules. I can't. Nobody's ragging on Justin Bieber. Nobody rags on Nickelback anymore. It, we are now at the point where, like, look at this photograph is actually good. It's not good. That was never good and it never will be. That's nah, an rolls. annoying song. Look at this photograph. I just, you know, that those it's a like the voice. Of Abby's flabby ass. Okay, my I thought <laughs> I had a flat ass. Now it's flabby. Like can we make up our minds here? Flabby girl. Okay. Sports if she plays. You look like you'd be good, but I'd wait, beat wait, you with hey, ease. Hold on, hold on. First what? of all, that's gay as shit. Let Roscoe weigh in on all these. Okay. What are you doing? Okay. We've got Sorry. a guest. Well, he needs to jump in. I don't know why he's being so he's like, good at podcasting. Kind and polite. Because on his podcast, we don't just scream over each other all the time. Let him okay. go. Well, this we're, he's not on his podcast. He's here. He's in the ring with us. This oh, is gosh. our territory. All right. Now, anyway, the ring is her disgusting giant asshole. But like Roscoe, that's, just, what? that's horrible. Why would you say that? I do. Well, I mean, whatever. Why would Shut you... up, Roscoe. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just <laughs> shocked and horrified, and I completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> I know it's hard to dodge her because she sounds like fucking Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> but what was the second one, bitch? You look like a diehard Justin Bieber fan. Yeah, there you go. That's awful. It's so dumb. It's very dumb. How do you no? Yeah, that's stupid. It it's annoying and it doesn't make any sense. You're annoying. You don't make any sense. Anyway, she he he said his piece. That's he doesn't clearly okay. want to do anything. Move on to the third one and be polite. <laughs> like be polite to our fucking guest. Like I mean seriously, people come on all the time. There's so many better openers than you look like a Justin Bieber fan. Like. Looking for opening lines and stuff like that, like to me, that like reeks of smelly pickup artist kind of crap. Like those guys just, get pussy though. Yeah, like but, crazy, disgusting. Yeah, I mean, like Fines. if you win by getting the high score, I don't think you're playing the right game. Yeah, but I mean, they they I, you're, you're gonna tell me uh, who's that guy who wears the big hat who like invented the term peacocking. Doug yeah. Dimadone. No, I think his name is like <laughs> mystical. Dimidone. The pickup artist shit rules. It's hilarious. It is, um, it is hilarious, but it like... It just, fucking works. I'm sorry. These guys get laid. Well, it works for a specific thing, but that's not good. Like, I don't know. But no, okay, I'm sorry. They're not called marriage artists. They're called pickup artists. Well, I feel like if you're worried about pickup lines and stuff, you need to be... Like, 
flirt flirt with cashiers a little bit. Like yes. have conversations while you're like checking out at the gas station. Like, did you see? Hold on, did you see how quickly that Abby was like, yes, because she's like, shut I up. worked at a Walmart right. as a cashier, I and she's like, you. yes, she's yeah, so definitely stop. into you, Bosco. I well, I know dudes that married cashiers because they were just chatting them up while they were at work and they were checking out. Every like, cashier that I've seen uh, now, listen. There, there are bitches at McDonald's when I was younger. That uh, there's I'm always saying, a hot bitch. If you're if you're worried about pickup lines, stop trying to pick up women and just learn to talk to people like a fucking yeah. human pick being. Pick up men. Yes. If you run out of your like list of pickup lines, you still have to keep flirting. Like you have to have chemistry and you have to be able to talk to people. Like the the, the pickup line is the first thing you say, but you have to have more after that. I guess. I the only pickup line that I've ever used. Was I would go up to a group of women in a bar and I would I know point at my dick and pull my hands out and I'd go sluts. You're very proud of that. And, yeah, because it fucking worked. Uh, and they like most of them would be appalled and one of them thought it was funny and I was like, hey, sorry, ladies, I'm just uh, dicking around. How are you? Hi, my name is Brad and I'm a comedian. All of that. And you use a money clip. Do not have a wallet. Pay for everything in cash. Have a money clip. And uh, yeah, you get numbers like that, dude. You just get numbers. I mean, also, it was probably because uh, it was. I used to look like a handsome magician at the time, and then now I just look like <laughs> some type of weird fucking, like, if Chris Angel, you know, did the goddamn uh, Super Size Me documentary. <laughs> but, like, you look like Ellen DeGeneres' retarded <laughs> stepbrother. Yeah, I know. Oh, you do. <laughs> it looks like Ellen DeGeneres is like, no, we just, that's my sibling we keep in the fucking attic. I know. I got to figure this out, and I will. <laughs> Uh, I offered to be your accountability buddy, but then you just yelled at me a bunch. Well, because that's a gay fucking thing to say. Accountability buddy? Yes. I have lived my whole life without you. I can continue doing it. What does that have to do with anything? I don't like this whole fucking buddy bullshit. Roscoe and I, Roscoe and I will text once every three months. All right? And he's one of my best friends. Maybe he can be your accountability buddy. No, he's just naturally thin for some reason. It's awful. Yeah. Just, well. This is true. I have the metabolism of a hummingbird. It's fucking, it's <sighs> annoying. It's annoying. It's probably actually all the manual labor he does. I, I, yeah. I have he taken probably burns the shape. Well the I've taken the shape of a man that hunches over in a fucking chair. I mean, it's not good. With your I, stupid email job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, pays more than your fucking job of being a bad parent. <laughs> Tonight. I like <laughs> job. Oh, I'm a teacher. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do you want to move on to the next one? Yeah, let's move. Oh, well, we got. Um, well, shit, we're we're an hour over. We need to finish this one. We're an hour over. Oh no, sorry, we're we're at an hour. We're seven minutes over. Okay, I was like, what are you talking about? There's no way we've been talking for two hours. No, did we finish this one though? I mean, that's no. Yes, let's finish this one. Okay, do you want me to finish these pickup lines? Yeah, yeah, that's the okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So sports, if she plays, you look like you'd be good, but I'd beat you with ease. Nothing gets her hotter than saying with ease. Uh, yeah, it's the wording. It's just very nerdy. But also, like, I mean, negging, fine, you know, uh, but, like, playful type of shit. But, like, it's got to be the right broad because, like, some of them do not like that shit. Uh, but you don't want to be with a bitch that can't take a joke. But with e, I could beat you with ease. Like, dude, what if she like plays soccer? If you play soccer, you're not looking for women. You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> She's fucking dumb. She's dumb. Roscoe, what do you think? I well, for one, like I hate soccer. I think it's like the worst sport imaginable. Sure. It's pretty, I mean, it's what you put your kid in. It's like the first sport you put your kid in because nope, they nope. just run back and forth. Wrong baseball. You put them in fucking t-ball. No, 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 no. You don't do that because they, the, it costs like hundreds of dollars to buy all the equipment you want. Soccer, you just have to buy a ball in some That's, like shit guards and cleats. It's literally not true. I don't know what type of weird fucking training camp your town is running. Uh, we get so if you have, if your kid happens to be the catcher, he's got to have certain things. Like they have to have. They like don't specific... just have that shit. No, you have to buy it all for your kid specifically. 
was this like that? Because I played T-ball as a kid. You have to buy your own bats. You have to buy your own like extra balls. You have to buy what cleats. Fuck? You have to buy your glove. Yeah. No, Roscoe. Uh, tell me, uh, like maybe my town just had like a good T-ball thing, but no, that was all just fair use shit. Like the league owned it. Yeah, that was how our uh, town league was. They don't do that anymore. What the hell? I mean, like well, I can't imagine. Because we defeated the social capital. Eh. And then you have to you have to pay a fee to get into it first off, like $150 or something, that and then sounds, you have to buy the equipment on top of it. No, that sounds like hockey, dude, because, like, my mom said I couldn't play hockey because, like, uh, like that was the way that it was with hockey. It, it, like, you had to buy all this crap. Uh, I wanted to play hockey. I would have gotten destroyed uh, in hockey. I, I'm bad at sports. but Me too. You know, well, you're a woman. It's expected. Even the WNBA is shit. You know, Brittany Griner is, I heard a comedian that day, very funny. Uh, he was talking about uh, Brittany Griner and, and um, made a joke. And he goes, if you're offended by that, tell me what team she plays for. And it's, yeah. you, can't, you know, they should get her though. They should get her back. She's one of ours. Yeah, and, that's so stupid, uh, dude. She no brought, politics. Right. Sorry. I politic. Nobody can politic but me. Um, it's my brand. But it, it's... Uh, <laughs> No, it, it, I don't know. It's silly. That's that's wild that your shit was like that over there. Me and Roscoe, and Roscoe, feel free to jump in here and shut this bitch up and me. Well, like for, for me and Bryden, we grew up in very uh, super majority white areas that still had social trust. And like all the rec leagues that we grew up in, like I played the, played the normal high school sports and church leagues. And we had like a town rec league where – there were, you know, the baseball bats were provided. You had to pay like a fifty or sixty dollar fee, mm -hmm. like the first of the year, but that covered your uniforms and chipped in towards trophies at the end of the year. Yeah, I don't think we can have that here. It's not the same here. <laughs> yeah, it's baseball bad. bats just walk off. Yes, absolutely. So you have to have your own, and then you have to, you know, take it home every time, and all that is a pain. So everyone buys like big duffel bags or and and a bit like an expensive wagon like the cheapest of those little Wait, fold up wagons is like 70 dollars everybody's buying a wagon like how many yes. fucking families are there uh well i mean it's Why everyone so that, wagons they because everyone needs to carry all this equipment and then like snacks and drinks Okay, no, it used to be a rotating thing where it's like, like a chair. I'm bringing the Fritos and orange slices. It was once a week. No, we do that, but it's for, like, the parents don't get any snacks or drinks from the Your team. Like, the parents need so a chair. Bad. Your life has been so bad that you, like, you you didn't even get to. Maybe it's just different now. I don't know how it is with Roscoe's kid. I don't know if he is. I didn't get sports. to play sports when I was growing up. I, I got to be a sport. cheerleader for a few months, now, and then I had to quit. a scam, like cheerleading is probably one of the biggest grips of all time oh yeah well i mean uh, well cheerleading is important before we wrap up the fucking show here cheerleading is fucking important because it gives the fucking you know middle schoolers something to be horny for and i remember Ugh. being horny for those no that's part of being a man it's part of growing up roscoe am i wrong uh, uh yeah i'm wrong that being an eighth grader is not about being horny you're supposed to be trying to control it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, you can't control it. I mean, you know, like instead you're like, all right, like I'm a linebacker, or, you know, whatever. Those guys are just trying to fucking control the horniness. But the thing is, the cheerleaders are important because it's like that gives them something to fucking fight for. Yeah, I mean, that's the purpose of it. That's why they're cheering them on and stuff. Yeah, yeah it's horniness. It's not because they like the cheers. It's because those guys are like, I have boners constantly. See, I don't want to think about this because I was I, like yeah. this is why I brought 11 up. when I was a cheerleader. And you know what? There are 11-year-old boys on that football field going, pussy! What? Oh, what? That's 42! So pussy 69! See, what? that's weird. What? It's really weird. I don't think I even thought a, like in a sexual oh, way until oh. I was much older than when boys were. It was so jarring to me when I encountered it in middle school. I was like, what is wrong with you disgusting perverts? Now, I, I know, and it's a thing, and then they grow up and they get more prudish. But, uh, you know, nine-year-old boys, I'm telling you right now, I was nine years old. I'm j jerking my pud, couldn't even come. 
Like I, you know, it was disgusting. I well, I nine year old boys are like that, dude. It's I'm looking at Maxim magazine, and I'm like mm, bikinis. Uh. Like those. You shouldn't have had access to that. To Maxim magazine? No, I don't care. Not at nine years old. No, probably it's not. Just like Maxim came out when you were nine. I Maxim is now a defunct magazine. It did. When did Maxim come out? I had a Maxim at some point. Maybe I wasn't nine. Maybe I. It, it, but I just remember being a kid, and dude, you I'm should have been you. protected. That's why you were like that. That's why you were just Maxim a disgusting kid. little kid because you were not protected. Yeah, you're supposed but... to, you're supposed to be exposed to pornography by accidentally finding it in the woods, like a real red blooded American. <laughs> right. No, it's uh, first issue was 1995. So yeah, that I, I'm sorry, Maxim. I was jerking into Maxim as a kid. I remember we. Uh, uh, I don't so... want to talk about this. That... Um... Well, that's... Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why are you talking about this? I'm just, what is this is, wrong with this you? Is about, What's it's happening, a, Brian? It's about life, all right? And no, it's about, it's about a nine-year-old little boy. No, we're not doing this. It's about sports. I'm telling it's you. It's not about sports anymore. You're taking it away from sports. No, that's why okay, these so kids I'm going to bring it back around by force. Like, if you... Like you're listening to this or you're reading like whatever advice column this is in, you're probably a flabby piece of crap and you probably didn't play sports in uh, high school. Yes. And if she looks like she actually played sports and you say that, she's going to embarrass you. Yeah. Yeah. And you're basically going to be completely emasculated in her eyes. You know, so, you know, what, you, uh, you know what she's really doing? You'd be like, you look like you're into sports. I'll bet I could knock you. I could TKO you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I could knock you out like Soft Poppy knocked out Andy Worski. Listen here, my date! Poor Andy. I'm that going was... to Caronia in your house! Uh, in, the, in the ring? And no! In real life! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, for... I'm going to wear your dress, your makeup, and become obsessed with you, and wear your dresses, and wear your skin as a coat! Like the old Irish. And you will get pussy immediately. Because she's be like, you're a Sam Hyde fan? And that's the one you marry. That's not going to happen. <laughs> no woman knows who Sam Hyde is. And women don't accept like Sam Hyde. It's like Monty Python. Yeah, they don't like Monty Python for some reason, too. I like they're both right. of those things. Yeah, but you just pretend to like them because your fucking husband's cool. I do not. My husband's not the one that likes Monty Python. He's only he only ever got Monty Python and like Black Adder and stuff for me because I already liked it. Thank okay, you very your, much. Okay, bitch. What's your favorite Monty Python movie? I don't know. Oh, I haven't watched it since a teenager. Oh, Begora. What a fucking joke that is. Listen, first of all, mine, Life of Brian. Okay, good for you. What's what's the what's the last song of Life of Brian? I don't know. Always look, I was a teenager. Look on the bright side of life. But up, but up, travel. But up, but you got up. an exotic tan. You travel a lot. God, dude. It, listen, just wrap up the show. We can go to the Patreon. Fine. I just wanted to get through. I'm trying so <laughs> hard. No, you're like, you're just, like fucking Monty you, Python. Name one the... Monty Python sketch, bitch. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck like you. Monty Python. Dude, What's what? the one where? What? Go ahead. I don't really like Monty Python. No, it's not the best, but my life for Brian's good. Now, now if you want to like really be like a hipster He's... fucking poser, you got to do the uh, what's the guy that directed um, Twelve Monkeys in Chicago and friggin' The Adventures I... of Baron Munchausen? Uh, I'm not sure. I like Chicago, the musical, right? The Richard Gere musical. No, not. Oh my! I like How Chicago. Great. Well, I don't know. Whatever. I'm a fag. I'm gay. Like I like the Richard Gere musical Chicago. No, no. Cellophane, like the... Mr. Cellophane. John C. Riley's in that fucking movie. It rules. Is that like your barometer for whether or not a movie rules? Is if John C. Riley sings a, 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 a depressing song in it? Yeah. That's why my favorite movie is John C. Riley. In... Oh, Terry Gilliam. That's the name I was looking for. If you uh, want to be a real like poser ass bitch, you got to be like, oh, Money Python. That's all right. But I really like Terry Gilliam. I, well, Abby, you hear that? I'm not being a poser. It sounds like, no, you're seriously wearing a Nirvana t-shirt and I asked you to name I'm three not. songs and you couldn't. 
I haven't oh, done anything. I just said that I liked Monty Python. If you Python. were in my town and I had a I fucking TikTok. I didn't say I'm an expert on Monty Python. And if he, even if I was wearing a Nirvana shirt and couldn't name three songs, what if I just liked the shirt? Bryden had on a uh, a music t-shirt and he couldn't name a single band. Who who was the artist, Bryden? Uh, Harley Davidson? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wear the shirt if you don't listen to music. Oh, dude, that rules. It's just so ridiculous. I can't say like, oh, uh, you know, I like these things when I saw them years ago dude, without fucking... knowing everything about it. But anyway, guys, we're, we're out of we're, time I mean, for today. We're like fucking 15 minutes over, idiot. These people have they, to start Oh, yeah, they're going to whine and cry that we gave them extra content. Yeah, okay. I am, though, because I need to get paid, motherfucker. I got bills to pay. We're – just shut up. We're out of time. Time for today, but if that makes you sad, if you feel like you really need more help, you're in luck. We're going to re continue recording exclusive content for our Patreon subscribers immediately following this. Go to patreon.com slash here to help podcast and subscribe right now. Uh, and Monday you can hear the part two. Roscoe, do you have any plugs other than Exodus Americanus, of course? Uh, Exodus Americanus. Absolutely, each and every week. You can find that at accessamericanist.com. I am also now uh, bi weekly uh, co hosting. Oh, you're bi weekly? I'm glad you came out. <laughs> He's excited now. He's got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> and um, in the uh, next month or so, I think I'm going to start doing a uh, live stream with one of my bros where we take home improvement questions. Ah. Yeah, like no how fun. to fix a like a, a well. I'll be on that. That was one of the that was one of the best bits of all time. Oh, dude, it's fine. We'll talk about it after the show. But yeah, I yeah, it was fucking amazing. We were the best. Okay. Anyway, bitch, do the fucking uh, script so we get out of here. And yeah, okay, I shut pee. up. You're the one. To, I have to pee too. Remember that you can reach us on Twitter at Octo Abbey with an I and at One and Only Bryden with, with the number one, like a finger. Finger. I don't know why you say that, but you do. Because Brian. it looks like a finger. It looks like a skeleton. And I'm really interested in bones. I I like bones. Send me bones. Did you know your skeleton's wet your whole life? Oh, dude, right? It's fucking wild. Anyway, finish it up. Uh, okay. Don't forget to get in touch with me to join our Discord server. Thank you for listening and have a great week secure in the knowledge that we are with you and we are the only ones you can trust are here to help. <laughs>